hi guys so welcome back again i finally reached uh ikinasto's beautiful <laughs> beautiful like guys this house looks pretty from outside like oh my goodness it's not so it's going to have a beautiful family yeah okay very very beautiful i wish he has a nice 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 family over here to blend like you know oh god this is so beautiful i am so happy for him i am so proud of him wow guys 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 it is beautiful anyway guys welcome back to my channel imagine i'm still admiring it's nasa's place and i haven't even reached there so guys welcome back to my YouTube channel in case it's your very time to see this beautiful amazing face my name is beatrice hongo and i do random vlogs here and there but i am based in mombasa but currently i am living here at uh, nyabohansa so I'm here at Isnasa's place. I want to show you guys how beautiful it is. I know he's done a lot of videos, but I don't know if he's there or not. So we're going to find out. Honestly speaking, from outside, guys, it looks so pretty. Like um, the future wife is going to have a, a very, very good environment. You know, let, let's let, let me let me. Uh, I don't know if Nasu is married or not, but we will find out. So, guys, because in African tales or in African stories, a man has to marry. That is a fun fact. A man has to marry eventually, or a man has to have a family. And one thing that I've noticed that it's Nasto has really, really shown the youth. Like, uh, you can start somewhere and you can build yourself. And the reason why, like, I know, don't come at me at the comment section. The reason why men construct these houses is because they have the desire to have a beautiful family, like to have a good wife, to have good children, and to ensure that these kids has a shelter. So one of the responsibility and one of the basic needs usually is shelter. And that's one thing that uh, Isnasto has showed people. So the wife is going really to have a good how do we say it? the wife is going to have a good a good shelter let me put it that way and also the kids in case he has kids in the future yeah so let's go i don't know if he's there or not but we'll find out so from outside here like i was able to see the house uh while i was coming that side because that side is not yet uh, fenced this block so from here he's done like uh he's done the fence is it called the fence Guys, is it called fence or is called uh, I don't know if it's there. Let me go and check. Hi Jumbo. So guys, I am finally inside its nasty compound. Oh my goodness, guys, it's so beautiful. Like what? I know you've watched this video, like you've seen the tour of his beautiful house. Look at that. Oh no, guys, this is so encouraging. This is so, say hi to me there. Yes, that is me. Wow, 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 wow. May God, 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 God bless him. May God see him through. Oh my goodness, it is so pretty. As I was saying, like, you know, let me walk around as we chat, like, hey, Nasto, come and marry me. <laughs> anyway, that is just a slide, a slide joke. Don't take that so, so seriously. So, I was trying to say that, guys, like, um, in African culture, a man has to marry in the godless so this is going to be a very good shelter for its nastos like a family in case he decided to have one wife kids you know this is very 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 pretty and right now they are doing like fencing all over oh guys anyway it's not it's not here 
so let me just show you a little bit let's admire this god's given creature together guys like can we not can we not admire this can we not wow can we not i know you've you've seen this house and the water here is where well, it's full and he has an outside bathroom the water here is so full <laughs> guys uh, it's nesta has done like uh, so many tours of this place i just wanted to come and touch it and uh, bless it wow it's so pretty very beautiful everything is green and thank you so much for those people who have allowed me to access this place and regardless that is not here but yeah this is so good this is so pretty very like wow look at that mirrors all over wow. and the house is complete wow very very beautiful so he's um they're called massa they're working they want to complete this um this mini the fence then i think this one is going to move here like um finally 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 guys this house i love it and to make it like it is on a village like it's in the village guys you know in a village to bring doing something like that and those people who know is nastos like he's from a humble beginning and he's so humble and it's he's so how can i put it like it's one of the humble people that i've seen despite uh, besides mara and you cannot even see like you know he normally is a silent person let me put it that way and what god has blessed him they normally say if it's not yet your turn learn to clap to others until your turn reaches by so this is just a clap for him we just have to appreciate whatever god has blessed with him and also to celebrate him guys you may see this as a small win but for people like me and him this is a very big big win and for the subscribers who has been supporting him all through his this beautiful project like you people you are the best like you people you are amazing continue continue supporting him and continue blessing him let's also learn how to appreciate whatever he is doing he's planted trees along the fence and this one looks different this one i don't know if you can see yeah he's planted trees in this like uh fence then he's putting up the blocks so you can separate between the neighbors and this side yeah the house looks pretty good i really really love it and uh, yeah let's learn to celebrate him and also to continue supporting him so guys uh, i am going to proceed to i am mara's place uh right now because nasu is not in here I, you cannot access inside the house i could have shown you as well though i know those people who are watching this video definitely you are from his channel you've seen the house tour so i don't want to repeat uh it it might be like uh how do you say it might be like a burden a bottom to avoid repeating the same thing here and there so this place is going to be a very good foundation for him and his future family in here and uh, to fellow youths guys to the fellow youths it's master and my yugnos and uh, all those people like maja are really really inspiring other youths to do the impossible like learn to i remember one of the first videos that I did with Isnasto like eight months ago in my channel when I was sleeping at their Airbnb, one thing that he mentioned that is um, they want to inspire the youth, like inspiration to the youth so that they can learn how to take, to have responsibility, how to take good care of their family. You know, most of the youth at that age, they think that you cannot do it. 
you cannot do this but his master has tried to prove to people that um at his age he is so much responsible enough to do such a thing so his family are going to his future family are going to really really appreciate the effort that he has done you know at my age or his age most of the people when they get this help like uh when they get some, let's say when they have some funds they don't normally think of having a stability family having a stable like a shelter they tend to adventure themselves in um, parties you know drugs but one thing with them i love the fact that they are responsible men like they're trying to to prove to the community that even the youth can just do and achieve this this massive uh, milestone like guys not all men at its natural age can just achieve this and uh, we should just applaud him for what a wonderful he could have decided to waste this money because constructing this house honestly speaking it cost it's not for free and to the subscribers who have supported him i know you are so proud of whatever he has done and you are so proud of whatever his like you are proud of his work let me put it that way because guys honestly speaking this is so lovely like you know this look at that this is so amazing so i know you are so proud of him you are happy about him and i know one day when he has a family this house is have a beautiful family like the house is beautiful <laughs> like a beautiful so it's nice when you're marrying please marry a beautiful a beautiful and for us africans beautiful does not mean like a uh, physical appearance so don't mistake me for that most of the people uh mistake beauty with the appearance a uh, beautiful soul understanding wife beautiful uh, heart like i mean somebody who is so just like him very welcoming very understanding and somebody who is humble and that's the beauty not the physical appearance so this house deserves such a beautiful uh, woman so yeah let's proceed to uh, Mara's place as i said earlier i don't want to show you uh, a tour of the compound because he has done it more and more and most of you people have seen it so yeah let's uh go to uh, mara's place okay guys um there is uh, a cow being grazed there so i thought that this this tree this grass <laughs> are planted but what i've noticed i think they've grown by themselves so they, they're trying to maintain the garden by bringing a cow what is that cow that cow there by bringing that cow to graze and uh, clear the clear the what the garden because he's planted so many trees along and i think they like when the cows eat the grass they level up so instead of bringing a it's called lone mao lone mao lone mao or lone mao yeah, instead of bringing a loan. <laughs> hey, guys, my English today has disappeared. Instead of bringing a loan, loan mao. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section there. So the cow will just eat. So, yeah, that is his beautiful house. So pretty. He's building a perimeter wall. That's what I wanted to say it's called a perimeter wall and did i mention that the guys the house is complete very very complete it's nasto is supposed to move so previous when i was coming this is what i was trying to explain you see things like this so in this village like it goes up down then up again yeah so yes guys let's let's move 
I'm so happy for him. I'm very, very proud of him. Let's just appreciate him one more time. Let's just be so happy for what he has done. Like, not all youth of this generation, like, you know how, for instance, how Kenya economy is, can do whatever he has done. So that's a very, very big milestone and a very big achievement. So let's proceed to the villa, the famous villa. Now that people are not there, I don't know if, uh, how do you say? I've been told that uh, you can access him. And I don't want to go, if Mara is not there, we are not going to enter. If it's there, we will enter. So finger crossed, let's hope that he does what? He's there. One thing today I feel, usually when I walk this, when I walk a small distance, I pant a lot, like I get tired, but uh, I'm just surprised like this time round, I was able to walk all the way from that end till here and haven't uh, the the tassel. Yes, yes, I am I'm having a how do you call it? A, a high breath, faster breath as usual. But it's it's normal for somebody who is walking. But it, you cannot compare it to I don't want to show that kid's face. Maraba, you cannot compare it to how I normally feel. So I think, guys, I need to do a lot of exercise. You see one thing. People normally think that when you are small, you don't uh, become, how do you say? When you are of my weight, of my size, like the thickness of the thinness, people tend to think that you are flexible. But in reality, me, I'm not flexible. So I need to work out as much as possible. I need to do a lot of walks. And one thing that somebody advised me, gym will just, <laughs> someone going to gym, I don't want to say it's a waste of time, but it doesn't help. So the person told me the key success of losing weight is to just check on what you're eating, you know, and do a lot of walks, like morning walks, evening walks, and really, really check a lot of what you're eating. Because I can decide, guys, that today I am going to the gym, but I'm still eating pizza. I'm still eating... A lot of fries. I'm still eating, you know. So, I need to check on what I'm eating. And also to have this, so many walks. Here and there. Like in the morning, in the evening, you know. Because it's hot. That when the sun is high, it's also so hot. That when you walk at short distance, you will feel the dizziness guys it's, it's windy so i don't even know if you're hearing me well but i hope so <laughs> i hope so so yeah i'm always i'm almost there like that's mama aunt's house i'm going to show you when i get there and that's the mwango's house i know most of you people are watching this video you are conversant with this even this area with this location so yeah it's not good to Shock it. So. Mama Anne! Shkamo! That's Mama Anne. Wow. She is so humble. People are working there. I do. is very very generous very welcoming hi how are you i'm okay hi uh, salama, mama. salama. Yeah. Boa. 
Ni kwa salama. We'll talk. Okay, so guys, just met. Ah, kwa sababu gani? And the lana kazi wasi. So guys, I told you there's so many content creators in this place that you will not find. So the, the guy that was grazing the, the cow, this is where he told me that their house is. And this is the famous D. Mwango's house. Not their home. Here. This is their home. Where her parents are. Um, Marwa's baby junior. This is where they come from. And the neighborhood. So anyway, regardless, most of the people are watching this video, you are conversant with this. And if you're not watching, go check them out. D Mwango, Ayamara, David Jr. This is the that is the house. There. They are the reason why this village. They are the one who produced <laughs> this content creators in this village. And actually, it is Ayamara who has made us young content creators. To travel all the way and to come and start life here to start how it is like uh, me personally i started youtube with the aim of pleasure like uh, not the content creation like i didn't take it like serious as work but when amara shared what youtube it is not all other youtubers does but after sharing all that uh, I started to venture it now. Take it more serious the way I'm taking. So guys, kindly support your girl. Kindly subscribe to my channel. And subscribing is completely free. Watch the video till the very end for me to get those watch hours so that my channel can be pushed. Yeah, we are struggling guys, but uh, all in all, we will get there one day, you know. It's all about God's timing. Yeah. So I um and people have removed you know when I show in my language it's called tiang. After the maize has been removed, you see how those things they look dry. It means the maize has been removed and they're going to slash them out so that they start planting again. So it's not yet planting season in in these areas. I think they just removed this mini. I think in the um, around december or around november but people normally plant in february so i think that they, they will start farming then uh, they plant they just harvested like the the previous two months or one month it's depend with how the, the time that one started to harvest so this is the famous uncle mo house Uncle Mo is also Ayamara's like uncle. So that's why it's called Uncle Mo. I don't know if it's there or not, but I don't have an appointment, so I don't want to go into people's homes. <laughs> I don't have, which I'm not used to, conversant to. You know, you cannot just see, like when I was heading to his master's place, I, I, I went and I thought like, uh, People are there. I, I knew today is a weekday, so definitely I knew people are there. And it's not so age and my age, like we are just youth. So I do want to, how do you call it? I do want to go there when nobody was there, like yesterday is on a Sunday. So I do want to go there when people are not there. So even there at Uncle Mo, and I'm not closer to Uncle Mo, something like that. Yes, so that's what I'm trying to say. So let's go, and there is uh, Mayugno's Rindima Villa. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah. There is Rindima Villa. I'll take you later. Hey, guys, remember how, like, uh, I think a month, last month, this place used to be so busy like at this time you could see motorbikes passing by pa, pa. people are coming to the party people are you know and it was raining <laughs> it was really really raining but this time around it's not that raining much what are these ah these are um uh, how do you call them why do I know local uh, vegetables in my native language and I forget them in English? These are called, not calabash. 
yams. No, pumpkins, yes. Yes, those are pumpkins. Guys, those are the pumpkin, like pumpkin. You have to dig down is when the whole big thing will come out. So I know somebody might be wondering, pumpkin and why am I using pumpkin? But those are the pumpkin vegetables. Yeah. So yeah. And uh, somebody has planted uh, sugar cane. Wow, they are, they are so green. Very, very green. Yeah. So guys, we are almost here. In case you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed, like guys, I don't know what you're waiting for. Just click that red button there and subscribe. Like, just support your girl. Support this hustle. Subscribe. Watch the video till the very end. So as usual, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause a little bit so that I'm almost there at Mara's place. I just don't want to move with my camera, like filming. So I'm going to pause this, then I'll catch up with you guys later. If it's not in this video, and maybe another video. And guys, if you've watched this video till this part, thank you, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate and please consider subscribing remember subscribing is completely free so let me pause then i'll catch up with you guys later okay